to destroy my world! I don't believe in destiny, I just do what's best for me Don't listen to my enemies, they're just full of jealousy Yeah, this legacy, you gon' see what's left of me You gon' see success in me, you ain't seen the rest of me I just wanna be the best at what I know Better than the rest, just watch me grow Put me to the test and watch me go This is my quest, I'ma make it known They call me obsessive, oh I know Call me selective with my notes Call me aggressive with my flow Call me offensive even though Joe, I ain't gonna lie, life's tough Try to get by, life's rough Try to do it right, it's not enough Even though you try, you still mess up But I'm still gonna fight for what I love Still gonna die for what I love Still gonna try, I won't give up Still gonna fight until I want Hey guys, and welcome to part 2 If what if Deku was a true alpha werewolf Last time we left off, Deku was attacked by a slime villain, and he tore it off and all might arrived. And Deku let out a shoe drawer, and certain people heard this, and it made their eyes glow. Some blue, some yellow. And they all said, that's an alpha. But then, after collecting all the sludge villain, all might jumps away. But Deku jumps after him and manages to catch his leg. When they land, all might deflates. Deku thinks this man's an imposter until All Might explains his injury. And then Deku asks the question, Can someone like me, who's quirk, turns him into a beast, a werewolf, really become a hero? Wouldn't people just be afraid of me? And yeah, let's continue from there. Like, go for this one, it's going to be 40 likes, and you can guys this smash it. So, All Might's shocked, and Deku says, well... I'm not normally afraid of this, but it's just been playing on my mind recently. And especially after that slime villain attack, I nearly lost control. What if I lose control during a... Like a villain attack and I end up hurting someone I'm trying to save? And when it says... It's fine. You can become a hero with that quirk. You can maybe even become the number one hero. You have a good sense of justice. And you're not full of yourself. You have your self-doubts, which is actually a good thing. It means you're not just going to think you can do everything on your own. And so what if you lose control? You seem to be able to gain it back quite easily. And maybe that losing control is what you need sometimes. Maybe that would let you help someone. Maybe that anger would power you up enough to stop the villain who seems to be beating you. Or made you lose control. So yes, I do believe you can become a hero. As long as you're not afraid to jump into action. As All Might says this, a huge explosion appears from behind them. And before anything, Deku copies All Might and jumps. And All Might's shot thinking, that jumps higher than mine. And Deku lands right next to the heroes. His all redeemed as well will form. And the heroes say, no kid, don't. And Deku's about to listen to them until he sees who it is. Ka Ka-chan? And Bakugo looks at Deku and yells out, help! Before the sludge villain covers him off again. Deku's angry. This villain's trying to take his best friend. And he lets out a roar. These people hear it. People in the crowd's eyes glow again. And Deku sees this. He's like, wait, are they like me? No, no time, that, no time to think about that. And he rushes past the hero trying to stop him. And the sludge villain says, no, no it's you. Keep that kid away from me. But before he, he was going to do anything, Deku's already jumped up and slashed the slime villain's eyes open. This is the only solid part of the slime villain that starts bleeding. Deku roars, he's angry. He punches, creating a shockwave, slamming the slime villain and getting back out, back go out of there. Deku's on the verge of losing control again until he looks at Bakugo and Bakugo is nearly unconscious. And he takes a deep breath and looks at him. I'll deal with you later. Punches him in the ground again, jumps out over Bakugo, jumping off a building and giving him to a hero. And he looks, the slam villain's trying to escape. No, get back here! And he roars. He jumps towards the siren and catching him before he screws away and starts abusing him, punching, clawing, biting. And then he jumps back into the air and slams the slime villain into the ground. I'm gonna kill you for what we did to Karchan. And he roars again. And then the hero says, Stop, kid. Stop. You're gonna get hurt. 
And as he's pinned the slime villain, Deku roars at them and says, You call yourself heroes, but as he was dying, suffocating, all you could do is stand there. None of you are like All Might, none of you are true heroes. And this is where All Might appears, inspired by Deku's words. I couldn't have said it better myself, kids. Now let me finish this off. And he jumps next to All Might and says, No, we'll do it together. And they both run. All Might and Deku both yell, Detroit smash! And a tornado twice as big as the one in the original appears, the strong slam villain. And changing the weather. All they hear is a shot and all think, that must buy it, be All Might's disciple, his, his, I don't know, his, um, what's it called? His successor, that must be his successor. And everyone's clapping, but Deku doesn't even get any time for praise. He runs over to Bakugan and says, Kachan, Kachan. Bakugan looks up. <coughs> you did it, Deku. I guess you really are strong. And he passes out. Deku's crying. He thinks Bakugo's died, and then he feels a pulse. And yet again, Bakugo coughs up some slime. And he says, huh. Jeez, uh, I just couldn't really breathe without slamming in my throat, I guess. I'm fine, Deku. I just need to get air. And Deku starts nearly crying, and then he senses it. He sees mm, a group of six people, and they're all looking at him. S two people's eyes are blue, and four people's eyes are um, yellow. And they are all signaling at him. Deku, all my asks to speak to Deku, and Deku says, Give me a minute. And he runs over to the people, and he says, you are like me, but your eyes are different. You have a quirk like mine, and everyone laughs. A quirk? No, we do not have quirks. And Nicky says, isn't Werewolf a quirk? And the all laugh and says, no. Werewolf is a DNA trait, a genetics. And, and he says, oh, I thought it was a quirk. Wait, I'm a werewolf. Wait, I'm quirkless. And everyone says, oh, you're quirkless, jeez. Well, I guess it doesn't really make up from considering you're, a true, you're an alpha. They don't know you're a true alpha yet. And Deku says, wait, what's an alpha? And they all laugh and says, you must be joking. How did you become a werewolf? Who bit you? No one says, and he says, nobody. I was born like this. And they're like, oh, you're a pure werewolf. Oh, you must have, and then you must have killed someone then, because how do you get your alpha? And Deku says, I was born like this as well. And everyone's talking. Are you being serious? They listen to his heartbeat, detecting the see he's lying. And they say, you're a true alpha. And Deku says, wait, what? And they explain his werewolf to, well, he's, they say, we're werewolves, but we were created by an alpha biting us. And you were created as your pure. That must mean someone in your heritage was a werewolf already. And... Only an alpha can create other werewolves. You can tell who an alpha is by their eyes. Deku's like, really? How? They have red eyes. Deku says, so I'm an alpha. Cool. Then they say, most people only become an alpha by stealing it from another, by killing them. Deku says, wait, I haven't killed anybody. And then they laugh and say, we know, we know. We listen to your heartbeat and we know you're not lying. You're a true alpha, someone who was became an alpha by their own willpower. You're far stronger than any other alpha. Then he says, oh, cool. Wait a minute. I can make other people werewolves. And they say, yep, you just need to bite them. But there's a risk involved. There's a chance they could die, but that's very low. Dicky says, oh, cool. And Deku asks for their names. One guy's name is... Oh, I can't think of any names. Actually, here's one. As the person was about to say, my name is, there's a girl from behind them. Deku looks, there's two pairs of red eyes. And the man steps out and says, Who, what do you think you're doing? He's talking to an outsider about us. And says, I bet he's a f filthy Omega. And growls. Deku gets offended and he roars back. And this, and that, and the other alpha sees Deku's eyes and he steps back and says, Oh, you're an alpha too. 
I guess I apologise, and Deku says, No, I'm not an alpha, I'm a true alpha and yours. Deku's starting to realise the power his name has, and the other alpha powers, and says, I'm, I'm sorry, did my pack cause you any trouble? And Deku says, No, they were explaining to me my abilities, they were very helpful. And I guess since you're the alpha, you were helpful too. And he walks over, and lifts them up and says, Tank power to me, and shakes the hand. This per- you guys get the name who this guy is. And... Dekus... Dekus... Actually, forget it. This guy's name is... Let's see... I'ma think of a random, random, that random, 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 random as name. His name's gonna be... Oh, I can't think of one. You guys name him. He's gonna be important to the story, but I'm gonna let you guys name him. And he st and he stands up and says, "Thank you. What's your name? My name's Izuku Midoriya. I was born with my I was born a werewolf, and I became a true alpha." And the guy says, "So you're pure as well. You're like me." Wait, actually, no. This this guy's name is Derek. And another, and one of the guys' name he was he was talking to, his name was Scott. The one who explained his abilities to him. And Deku says, "Okay, I need to go speak to All Might now." And everyone says, "All Might, you know All Might." Deku says, "Yeah, I'm kind of his friend." And everyone says, "Impressive. I guess your strength does make you stronger than All Might." And Deku says, "What?" And they say. Yeah, you basically have infinite strength. Just need to learn to master it. And Lucky says, cool. And he jumps away. Everyone's like, damn, what a jump. And he flies towards a building that Omar was waiting for him at. He lands. And one says, oh, you're finally here. Who was you talking to? And Lucky says, just people with similar quirks as mine. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? All Might says, You've shown a true hero's qualities. And so I want to pass my quirk on to you. Deku says, what? You can't pass on a quirk. And All Might explains his quirk and Deku's shining like, are you sure you want to give it to me? Why don't you give it to someone with a better quirk? And All Might laughs, a better quirk? Your quirk might be stronger than mine. I couldn't think of anyone better. And Deku says, thanks. And he eats one of the, uh, his hairs. Thanks to Deku being a true alpha, the process happens a lot quicker. And after he eats his hair, an explosion of power comes off him. He's activated one for all by accident, and all might shot thinking, already. And Deku's like, what do I do? Uh, and Deku all might says, just grab me and jump as high as you can towards the beach. And Deku agrees, and he jumps towards the beach. And without even knowing it, he used one fall in his legs, so he goes a lot farther and actually lands dead on the beach. All Might says, impressive. You didn't even break any bones. And All Might says, okay, kids. Let's start your training. Deku gets the explanation of one for all down. And he explains to his mum another part of his quirk awakened, so his mum isn't suspicious why he can all of a sudden... Need a quick tornado with a single punch, and he says it gives me super insane strength. And, my, and his mom's like, "That really suits you, Deku." I mean, Izuku. Anyway, after one month, of, after two weeks of training, we might figure out Deku can use a hundred percent one force no backlash, and Deku knows how to control the output. This is when Gran Torino walks past and sees all my training Deku. This is where the 10 month training period for UA starts by the way. And he says, oh, you find a successor. And he looks at Deku and says, what's so special about him? What's his quirk? And Deku says, my quirk's werewolf. And he activates his form and growls. Gran Torino's impressed and says, okay, what does this give you? And all my says, that quirk gives him a strength Either the same or past mine, and speed same or past mine. And you can always use one for hundred percent. And Deku shows off using it in his arm. Gran Torino's face plant says, "Let me train him." And you get a rest, all might. 
and Gran Torino used this as jets to zoom to Deku to test his reflexes. Deku still in his werewolf form, eyes are glowing, and he catches the fist. He's like, whew. And Gran Torino says, impressive. Anyway, when All Might leaves, Gran Torino explains, why don't you try using one foot all around your entire body? Deku's confused, and it takes him, I'd say, four hours. Considering he's a true alpha, he picks up stuff a lot quicker to get all, all foot one around his entire body. And it's harder for him to move, he isn't really used to it. And Gran Torino says, no use in your werewolf transformation. And he starts zooming around Deku and tells Deku to catch him. He kicks Deku and Deku flies back a bit. But thanks to his werewolf instincts, even though he's not transformed as it's not a quirk, we just, which we've discovered, Deku flies back, already in his battle instincts, growing stronger and stronger. He's like a Saiyan. And he's, without even realising it, he's getting used to full cow. And Gran Torino is impressed, thinking, he, he's picking up so quickly. And instead of Deku just trying to catch Gran Torino, he's gone on the offensive and is chasing after him. He's spinning his kicks, he's punching. And then Deku finally realises, my output can be higher. And he goes from 5% to 50, and he breaks the sound barrier. Gran Torino starts using his full speed, barely escaping Deku. And Deku goes to 100%. He feels a bit of strain in his legs. But thanks to his super healing from being a werewolf, it, it heals and he's already used to it thanks to his genetics again. And he easily crushes Gran Torino. And just due to all his adrenaline and his heart rate, when he catches him, his claws come out, not hurting Gran Torino. And his fangs appear, his eyes glow red and then he roars in his face. Gran Torino says, impressive, Izuku. All my appears. This only took a day. And he says, So what have you learned? I went and rested my form for a bit. And Deku shows a full full card of All Might. All Might's impressed. And Izuki says, I can use 100% in my entire body now. And he zooms around. And then Deku says, Wait, what if I activate my werewolf work on top of this? And he activates his werewolf form. This puts him at the same place as 200% against Muscular. And when he goes full, it's nearly a 500%. And Deku knows he can go further. And All Might is just baffled. Deku surpassed him, and he could probably take down All For One right now. But not the time for that. All Might says, considering your body's a suitable vessel already, and Deku, All Might hasn't really seen Deku without a shirt on yet. And since the quark activated, All Might wanted to get Deku used to that first, so it doesn't destroy his body if he acti activates by accident. And he sees that Deku's actually shredding, and his, although his muscles aren't huge, they're compact. And All Might says, I'm guessing that's something to do with your quark, and Deku nods. All Might says, your quark might be perfect for this. And... So All Might enrolls Deku in multiple tai in multiple martial arts classes, Kung Fu, Taijutsu, or just a, a bunch of martial arts classes, Jinjutsu and all that. Uh, do Dojo, I oh know, I forgot what his name, the one where you wear them cape and you have to get the guy that hit their back. Sumo, no not Sumo, I don't know, just yeah. And now, let's say with five months, due to Deku being a werewolf, he's mastered nearly every martial arts. And he's insanely powerful. And All Might says, okay, how about you explore your own quirk now, try to evolve that. Deku says, okay. And All Might says, I'll help you train that as well. Izuku activates his form, and he just feels something like, different now. He feels like he can go further. And he, and he tries, he just doesn't have the emotion for it. He thinks back to everything, his happiness, his anger, his sadness. And he roars. <sighs> Deku's back starts breaking into shape. He guts on the floor, he's not in pain. And his roar turns into a howl. 
He's now a full wolf. All much impressed. Deku's speed is far greater in this form, but his strength isn't. And then Deku reverts back to this. His clothes are ripped. And All Might gives, gives him uh, another pair that actually stretches out like his suit. But it doesn't mold with his wolf form. And Deku says, that was me using my happiness. What if I use my anger, my wild side? And Deku roars. His eyes are glowing red. And the white part of his eyes go red as well. He roars. He's getting into his arms extend. Farther than before, he gets a lot more muscle. It's a bit less fur. And in this form, it's the same as Peter from season one. He's growling. <sighs> <sighs> this form gives him a speed and strength boost, but it's a bit it's quite a bit harder to control. If Deku looks down motion gets best of him, he goes crazy. And he roars. This scares him right a bit. He can feel the pure strength from Deku. And Deku managed to get and manages to get control to speak. He's like, <sighs> this one kind of hurt to transform into. Ow. All that says, try to use one for all in that. And Deku does. He zooms around like a flash. He seems like a happy puppy. He's panting and then he transforms back and gets his actual clothes back on. You might all be wondering how De why is Deku getting such power boosts? That for him to be able to do that, he's been training for four months. So now it's his last month and he just take a break. He trains the last month with Bakugo lightly. And he does something he can learn from martial arts. Bakugo complains about his arms hitting every time he uses an explosion. So Deku just grabs his arms and starts hitting them with metal poles in certain areas every day. And Baku doesn't doesn't know why. And he's like, geez, Deku. So Baku goes to goes fitness training with Deku and, and they spend three it five hours every day hitting Bakugo's arms with poles. Bakugo Deku learned this from one of his teachers. On on the last week, Deku tells Bakugo to use his strongest explosion. Bakugo does. Not only is it far bigger, his arms didn't hurt at all, nor only is it a slight sting. And Deku says, when I hit you with these poles, I won't try to break your wrist or your arms or any part of your body. I'll send small vibrations through your, through your bones, making them harder, more dense, stronger. So now you should be able to use your quirk a lot more without causing any pain. And Deku hugs, and Bakugo hugs Deku and says, thanks Deku. And Deku smiles and says, you're welcome, Kachan. And Deku's starting to wonder if he should tell Bakugo about one for all. Or about his werewolf not being a quirk. And he doesn't. As All Might told him not to tell anyone about one for all, and he doesn't want to tell Bakugo about his werewolf quirk. Anyway, next time on What If Deku Was a True Alpha Werewolf, we're going to be taking the UA entrance exams. Will Deku pass? Will he get top of the class? Or will he fail? Will he use, lose control? Nobody knows. But remember, Hit that like button, share with your friends and family, hit 5k before the end of July. And other than that, peace out. Bye.